Hey folks, how you doing? So this video is kind of to share that I'm going to be doing an entire series on my air bike. I received a couple of emails and essentially people are saying, look, you know, with all the pictures you've taken, all the videos done, you know, why did the air bike just stop getting updated? Well, uh, I've shared an update video, but my right shoulder has a really bad torn rotator cuff and I'm getting worked on December 4th. It's going to take me about six months to completely rehab. It's going to be about two months before I can really start using the shoulder. But my air bike got to the point that the uh, only thing left to work on was the wings. The fuselage done, the tail's done, and everything's done. But over the last three years I've worked on the project, I've got over 1,153 pictures of the entire build and about 145 videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into a series of about 20 separate um, videos or update videos. A couple of parts might have a couple of videos. So we're going to talk about the drawings that you get when you go to uh, the people that sell the drawings to the air bike and you buy those. Um, we're going to talk about the welder I got to TIG weld the fuselage. We're going to talk about the airframe overall. We're going to talk about the battery I'm using and the starter and everything for the Kawasaki engine. We're going to talk about the controls, which is the you know rudder pedals and the uh, control stick, and how all of that works. I'm going to talk about the Kawasaki 340 engine I've got. I'm going to talk about the exhaust system I made, which I don't know will work yet. Okay, I've gotten a lot of flack from people saying, well, that muffler is not going to work. Well, I don't know yet. Okay, I talked to a couple of people that's built some mufflers for ultralights, and depending on the restriction of the uh, exhaust pipe or the exit hole is where I get the back pressure and will bring the power on. When I went, while braking in the engine, I'm still getting about 95% of the RPM at the pitch I want, okay? And also the engine video will cover the uh, warp drive propeller I got. Um, I'm gonna talk about the firewall I made the uh, fuel system, the fuselage, the landing gear, the hinges you have to make, uh, the horizontal stabilizer, the instrument panel I made, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the struts, the wing struts. Uh, I'm going to talk about some test welds and where, you know, I had a lot of people email me saying, well, you can't teach yourself to take weld and then build an airplane. Uh, yeah, you can, but I have had some friends of mine that are professional welders look at my welds and they gave me a thumbs up. I'm going to talk about the vertical stabilizer, um, uh, I'm going to talk about the wings, and the wings are probably, I don't want to use the word difficult, but the most complicated part of the uh, build. Um, and then we're going to talk about the wiring, of how I wired the uh, battery to the starter, um, and some of the other electronics on it, the kill switch and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so that's 20 items right there, okay? Um, but I don't know there's going to be 20 videos, there might be 30 videos. I'm going to have the first video up about the drawings here in the next four or five days. I'm going to do my best to have an update every week. Okay, it'll probably be on a Thursday, but I don't know the, the date yet, okay? And there may be two in a week if I just happen to find the time. Um, life's real busy right now. Work's real busy. Uh, once I have the surgery in December, I'm going to have a lot of time just to sit around and do nothing. So I might really expand on some of the different steps and parts of this build, okay? So I hope you enjoy the videos that are coming. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the rumors of the air bike project being abandoned is just BS. And uh, I know there's a lot of haters and Karens out there and people that want to see things fail. And I know some people have written me emails saying, I've left your uh, YouTube because I was here to see the air bike. <laughs> Tough crap, okay? I mean, I don't know what to do for you people. Um, you know my life is aviation. <clears throat> excuse me. A huge part of my life has been model aviation. Another part of my life has been full-scale aviation. And I don't want to sound like a jerk, but I'm here to try to share what I'm doing with people. I'm not running a company where you're buying a product from me and I owe you anything, okay? So if you don't enjoy the videos, don't like and subscribe. If you don't like my content, don't follow. If you came here just to see the air bike, <clears throat> sign out and maybe two or three years from now if you want to come back and find only the air bike videos you can okay I don't know what to say folks I'm just trying to be really straight be very transparent with you and be real okay 
Um, it does take a lot of time to build an ultralight. It takes even more time when you got a great family and a very good job or you're really busy. Okay, and then to make all these videos take time that I've got to kind of squeak in there when I've got some extra time. Okay, so rock on, um, stay tuned, and a whole bunch of really cool videos are going to be coming along soon. Hopefully over here, over here, you've seen the bullet points of all the different uh, parts of the aircraft that I'm going to do videos on. And I will see you next time. Rock on, everybody. Have an awesome day or night wherever you're at. And please like and subscribe if you want to see both model aviation and an airbite. If not... See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.